your heads with your screen. Father in heaven, we give you thanks for this wonderful day. We thank you God for sparing our lives to be here today to witness the last of our brother, Kenneth. We thank you, Lord, for the years you have kept him and that he has followed your instruction and we love you, Lord, even on today. Lord, we pray for his family at this time, his children, grandchildren, and other relatives. We pray, God, that you continue to bless them, Lord, and continue to stay with them and to comfort them in this time, Lord. We pray, God, that there will be no conflict after his burial, no problems in the family, but just peace and love. Father God, bless the family today, Lord, and may we bless the last of their time. Grandpa, uncle, cousin, and on the way, on the way today. And be with them, Lord, in this time, Lord. Help them, Lord, to know that you are God. And those who don't really know you, may it be the day that they have set you as their personal Savior and Savior. Lord, bless this church, bless the community, bless the pastor, the bishop, and all who worship here, and all who are here. And then they will see who he is. And Kenneth, 
as your life and instead. May your soul rest in peace and perfect your life. Shine for me. Thank you so very much, Booker. Now we are. We thank you for those kind words, and um, we're going to ask Keisha, who will be doing the first lesson, to come at this time. While she's coming, let us keep praying. Before his death, 
then I still have to come back to give my tribute and to carry on this service. Brother Ken was great servant here, and how many of you know that he could make medicine? If you feel sick in church, I, I did it a couple of pool the same week and have 40 candidates for baptism. And uh, when I do 27 candidates, something just hooked me in my belly and I could not stand up any longer. I had to come out and ask the rest of the candidates that we would do them the Sunday. Brother Ken comes Sunday morning and he said, oh, stop. I want to talk to you again. <laughs> Brother Ken said, carry some medicine for me. I said, what? You're a doctor. He said, no, man, but this was better than any doctor medicine. And you know, I took it and it helped me so well. Amen. Brother Ken was a good man. And we will ever miss him. And our prayers are with the family. And I hope that the Lord will give you peace in the time of yourself. God bless you. Now, we are, you see we started very late here because of the traffic and the road to, for the body to reach here. So, each tribute is going to be for five minutes. Each, are you are listening to me? Those of you that know me a long time, I'm here over 20 years. I say five what? And I mean it. Now I will keep this microphone with me and let me give you the instruction. If you go to six and ten minutes, I agree four minutes and forty seconds. I'm gonna say amen. <laughs> and the second time, amen. And the third amen means stop. And that's what we do here in faith temple. Amen. You cannot come sing and talk. If you sing, that's it. Is that an amen? amen. And if you talk, that's it. You can't talk or sing. Are you hearing me? So the moon has laid down. All right. Thank you so very much. When Brother Ken White died, I was, I visited him, and while I was there, two o'clock, the rain came down. Three, four, five, six, seven o'clock. And Brother Ken was saying to me, Bishop, you cannot go home yet, sir. I said, what? There's any road, but I didn't understand what he was saying. This is when you come up and road. The car almost washed away with it from here. So now I know the place. Now I have to. We get it ready here now almost every day. And we don't know if it will come today. So we have to stick to time. So that we can do what we're doing and get out on time. Is that an amen? amen. So we're not rushing nothing for everybody at five minutes. Amen. And if you're crossing over, dry you. You're just here. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Now, Reverend Powell will come to help to, both of us will do this together, but at this time we are going to be having the first tribute and um, by Reverend Powell from Faith Temple Church. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'm going to say good afternoon to everyone. This is a tribute from the church. Resolution for the late Kenneth Malcolm, where, as by the providence of the Almighty God, he saw 
quite fit to call home to himself, our dear Brother Mark. Brother Mark, who started on a journey here at Clay Temple, where he never looked backward, always had the church at heart. He serves as an officer and usher, which was well done. Our hearts are saddened, but truly rejoice and attest to the fact that this is a blessed death. According to Revelation 14 and verse 13, blessed is the dead which die in the Lord. For the man whose services to the Lord here was done exceptionally with dignity, pride, and love from his heart. A jovial personality he shared and respected everyone he came across. Be it known that he will be missed, but memories of him will remain in our hearts. Brother Malcolm has run his journey with a determination and a destination to make him to that holy and beautiful city whose builder and ruler is come. In 2 Timothy 4 and verse 7, it says, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Brother Malcolm has ended his journey. Rest in peace, our brother, and light protector shine on him. We have set the foundation and set it right. Amen? Amen. Um, we are going to call two items and then we will probably come back again. Um, Brother Miller and uh, founded by the Cottonwood New Testament Church of God. So these two persons will come and um, they will put him
has won. And believe me, he is honest, decent, somebody to his word. It's a God sent man to me. Because when I'm in England, I've heard so much different story been happening to people who leave this country and come to England. And everything that I can do for me, I never have one regret. I said to myself when I was told and asked to give a tribute here, I said I would directly say, Brother Ken, and there is a man by the name of Keith Gale who built my house. Is one of the two honestest and fairest person I ever deal with in this Jamaica country. When Brother Ken used to fishing and everything, and I'm in England, Brother Ken fishing, I fish. And he went on his own and opened a bank account and put my money here. On his own, he never contacted me, he never tell me, he, he just went and do it. And for years, that was a um, workers' union. And that bank must have changed about 400 now. The last time a deal there, it was such a poor bank. And until this day, as I stand here, I can tell you that bank account brother can take out for me right now is in Black River and his name is there. That man you see lying down here, right now, and never have any doubt or any problem to go and change this or change that. Until today, I don't know what I'm going to do, but his name is still there. Believe me, people, Brother Ken is one of the most honest, disciplined, fierce person with principle and dignity I ever come across in this year I like. Believe me, and I will never forget it. I can't forget it. When Brother Ken wife died, that was the last time me and him sit down on his veranda and talk. And then I heard Brother Ken ill and I never get to go back to see him again. And by the Saturday, I heard he died. I come here today with a man like that as a friend from who was youth and everything. It is a cry to my soul, a good feeling, a dog on the missing. But I'm pleased, I'm glad to see the kind of things which carry on here for him today in his spirit. Brethren, it's a gentleman. It's a good man. It's a Christian. I wouldn't have to go much further. Because there are so much things personal between me and Brother Ken. Amen. I don't want nobody to do.
want to, this audience to know that this service is um, going through right around the world. So if you have your telephone, please turn it off. Don't let it ring because it will ring in America.
And the next one comes from the Morris family, niece and nephews. Then Marcus Churchill, family friend, Bernard Murray, family, and Leonard Porter, family. Please remember your five minutes. Good morning, everybody. I am Uncle Ken's favorite grandnephew. My heart can see when I was to remember a heart is here. It's what I've said me so.
Thank you, Jesus. Peter Malcolm, he was my son, school teacher. He was my senior leader. I see away 75% of the humility after the Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And I'm glad to be here to be a part of this.
me, Yannis. Yeah. Me go through. Thank you, sir. Thank you. No more dead mining. Hallelujah. Amen. A country
Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, I can say it is good for us to be here. Amen. But God is a good God. Every time. Amen. Every time He's a good God. Amen. Oh my God. I could say I have so wish for a king. But the Lord loves him best. So he take him home. And he will be with the Lord forever. He, Lord, say he will be with us always, even unto the end of the world. And Lord, we are looking for that. Oh God Almighty, I can't even stand up. Excuse me for sitting down today. Thank the Lord for Bishop. Bishop me and all the rest of pastors that I'm the party this morning. I am here to give thanks and praise to God for Father King this morning. But I think was a friend. He is a member. And oh God, he was a friend indeed. Oh my God, if Brother Ken look two, three weeks and he knows him, he would send and call me. And when he going to die, Saturday, he send and call me. He said, Brother Peace, call me, Brother Peace. Okay, he said, Brother Peace. Come, I want to say farewell to my brethren and my friends before I leave this world. And I say, Brother Ken, to I have the world, I tell the person to tell him, say, I will see him on Monday. Oh God, the Monday come. And when the Monday come, Brother Ken was not with me again. He is with the Lord. So, friends, we have so many bands together as brethren and friends. And oh God, I can feel it from this morning. I don't even know how far could I go with this, these few words. Because I break down from, from my wake up this morning. But I mean, I feel Jesus first into my life. And my wife, second. The second person and brother can I call him to be the third person into my life. If I go around here and me and would sit and talk about especially Jasper, I don't even see it here. Jasper, he tells me about Jasper. He tells me about Jais, Audrey, Blessed, Audrey, Ben Den and all the rest. And we will sit and talk and we will hear talking about them and they don't even know that is them we talk talking because we have a different language. That is only Sister Mercy is alive. I have seven brothers and me is the only one who leaves. Look at it, that a blessing. It's a blessing from the Lord. So may his soul rest in peace. And I leave everything into the hand of the Almighty God. Thank you. Amen.
It goes on for years and mom and I go by the beach to get our fish and lobster from him. And it was heartwarming for him to give to us because my mom was a single mom. And she would give him whatever she has. As time goes by, we grew into women. But the love and the bond and the connection was still there. We would now visit him at home in Strawberry, where we drove up there and we bring stuff for the family. And Audrey would cook the most delicious meals for us. And we bring friends by because it's like the country friends. The air is fresh and the family is welcoming and it was just pleasant and fun to be around each and every one. Going by Uncle Ken was like going to heaven because he's this sweet, warm, and humble person, loving, kind, and caring. His one and only sister that is left, Loretta Malcolm, who is my mom, loves and adores him with all of her heart. I'm not their mom to cheer you up and to support you and to hug you and to give you comfort, but I know Auntie Polly is there to take care of you and Khalil. I want to say, Audrey, you did a great job on your children. I can't remember everybody named by name. Andre, Mickey, then then, just in her case, and everyone who supported my uncle in his time of sickness. I want to thank you all. And we remain as one united family. I wish I was there. My heart is broken. But I'm sending love hugs and kisses to all of my family. Stay strong, stay focused, stay positive, and continue to have faith and trust in Jehovah our God. I love you all.
for him to keep us, and he's able to keep us from falling today. So, we'll do this. If Uncle Ken was here, I believe that he was here for each of us. Make sure we live a loving uh, life and live good with each other. And uh, the other thing he would tell us is make your heart and connection sure. Make sure your heart is right with God. So, family and friends, well wishers, if you're here today and you don't know Jesus as your Savior, in this funeral service, make sure you give your heart in the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Who oh, can went to sleep? So I tell you this, those that die in the Lord Jesus, and the truth of God sound, the dead in Christ shall rise. So I encourage you today, still Jesus your life, in your heart. Greetings to each and every one. Um, I just want to give my condolences to the family. Be strong and be courageous. Just keep heart. We all have to part someday. Um, I know Brother Ken, oh boy. I remember when I was a little girl, knowing Brother Ken, he's always such a pleasant person, very quiet, humble man. Always going to church with his children. And most of all, when Jack want to see me, he has to pass by with Jack. And Jack always wants to see little Tat. He was always a little chunky boy. However, you know, um, knowing him, um, he was my father's friend. Very close, they communicate together, always talk. Um, never see that man or hear him shouting or anything. Never be in any mix of that I know as a, as, a, as a child growing up and seeing him because, you know, he was very peculiar, um, very peculiar person. And um, he always go to fish. And then my father always, always able to get fish from him. Sometimes he would buy from him. And sometimes Brother Ken would bring fish for my father. That's what I know of Brother Ken. And, you know, I remember while I'm here in the States, I always look back on the days of those people to remember. Sorry, let's talk about it. It's always darkest before the dawn. Don't be discouraged, but carry on. He'll not forsake you. The sun will break through. It's always darkest before the dawn. Yes, this is Ainsworth Murray, the son of the late Reverend J.R. Murray, Jonathan Roland Buller Murray. Uh, the second eldest brother of Uncle Ken. I am the nephew of Uncle Ken. So today, as we pay homage to Uncle Ken, he was a man with a very happy personality, a gentle heart, and he was a man of God, a man of integrity, a generous man with a free hands. Uncle Ken was an avid fisherman of great sense of humor and uh, he would have you laughing for days long after he's given you the jokes i'd have to say oliver samuels of jamaica have nothing on uncle ken um i often visited uh, saint elizabeth as a boy and um uh, he was always very generous and kind to me um he would always make sure that I have enough fish to return home to a small one. And if I didn't, then he would uh, tell me to wait two more days until he pulled his truck to fill me up. And so uh, once that's done, he would pack me with fish, bummy, guineps, mangoes, these berries, and my nice two dollars as usual, which meant a lot to me as a boy those days and send me and my merry way back to a small one. Now, he put his trust in God and faith throughout his life, and today he rests with the Lord peacefully. And, um, you know, uh, to those of us that's gonna miss him, 
We just have to look at his children, listen to his children, and we will see him and hear him. May God be with you, Uncle Ken, until we meet again. And though these people are tiny, can't be with us, but they are with us. Amen. Yes, thank God for technology. Yes, yes man. Yes. And thank God for Brother Julian. Praise the Lord. We are going to have the auditory song, and then I'm going to ask the ushers, please do the offering for us. But instead of doing this one, since we did it, it's already going to sing. As oh, I want to sing. As I journey through the land, singing as I go, pointing souls to Calvary to the Holy Son.
and as we continue to the rest of the service. Because ask for your anointing and your power to continue as it goes on. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Your mercy. 
The next item is the choir, the Temple Lutheran Choir. Praise God. Good singing after the message they called you. I love good singing and music. I'm being good. Somebody say amen. amen. Thank you. 
of my family, Sister May, and I, Neely and Sherry, we share our deepest sympathy to the family. And we, ever since we started to pray for you, because it's not so easy. To have one Mary in two months and to marry another one after two months. It is rough. So we need to pray for this family and that God will ever continue to bless them. When I heard of the death of Brother Martha, My dear wife says to me, I know you love the church and love your people. But you just come in also. Don't think of going right now. You preach here on just like what you saw here a while ago. So I will be preaching now up there in the United States. I said, no man. We want giant before the hearse for my neighbor. Amen. Amen. So I called up my airline. Um, what, what is my airline always called me, which is Southwest. When you travel with one airline, I'm telling you something now. You can always travel whether your money is done. We come here our five, six times for the year. So the only thing could take me here, I have to leave Georgia and go to Baltimore. That's in Maryland, and then come back here. What will be a flavor? But I am happy that I am here. And I'm going to share with you for a few minutes. Um, I asked my very good friend here, Brother Peter, to sing after I'm finishing. So um, they will be singing again. So my sermon was 20 minutes. So I cut it now to 15. Amen? Amen. So please just work with me a little while. Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, somebody just give God a praise in the house. Is that Job 
was a man amongst all men. Job knew his God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. He was married. He had a wife. Yes. And he had seven daughters. Sorry.
in our God. When somebody show you, brother can always, as somebody says, he may not know me, sir. What am I? The Camilla says, is one of the most honest person on earth. How many people go to England, Canada, or America and then go over an account and you send your money to him and he puts it in here. We are so much deep in our own life. Not true. And when you are truly driving your car, you have to be careful. Much of you get the money and the bank it. What a man. And he said, I know Brother Ken's name is in the bank account. So when we don't have a talk with him, And as I close, hallelujah, Jesus, in John chapter 5 and verse 28, Jesus said, the hour is coming, hallelujah, when all those that are in the grave, hallelujah, come on somebody,
Oh, I know you will. Sit very. But you must have one in the family. Especially one must be in the family. Where you look up to? Where you might be daddy? How are you mommy? So when you don't even show your man called man or dad. For this world is full of trouble. So I inquire you. Be faithful and be strong.
daughter, Johns Hall, Miriam Church of God, Harold Malcolm, Keith Parkinson, and Joe. That you love this song, and I'm gonna just do this song. Hallelujah. There is coming a day where no heartache shall come. There'll be no cloud in the sky, no tear to dim the eye. Yeah. 
song, Bless God, Hallelujah. And I hope it bless somebody's heart today. Remember, no, we are not singing and dancing and so on, but I bring you a song for God. Bless God. I thought number one will surely be me. I thought I could be what I wanted to be. I
Praise the Lord. Praise. I must apologize for Jen. She could not make it today. The Holy
Would I can Savannah in the North Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So they are never seeing a children to Brother Ken. Yeah. Love and see So you see, when you are lonely and feeling blue, I have a message from God to you. Yes, yes, He knows all your trouble. for him. 
his guests. He always ensured that they were well taken care of. Whichever foods were in season, he would always ensure that his guests left with something. Not to mention a bottle of his well-known roots. Sometimes, when coming to the sea, he would give away his fishes and say a baby sugar. This implied that whatever he gave away was small to him, and he didn't have a problem in giving. He always gave with a smile on his face. Papa was a disciplinarian. He taught his children to have manners and respect to the elder. Whenever his children spoke to him, they would refer to him as sir. He did not believe in his children staying in bed after 6 a.m. He always said they must not let the sun catch them in bed. Growing up, each child has a choice to do. This was the order of the day, and they had to be done before he got back from sea. He was very committed to his duties in church. He was a man to his word and never disappoints. He had good counsel to many and would always have a listening ear and be ready to encourage. Whenever it was harvest time, he would always bring his best produce whether it was a goat or bond provisions. After harvest, he would always bring home treats for his family, and we would share them and chat with him in the late night. Papa was a personal doctor. He never encouraged going to the doctor until we got older. He would find a cure for everything. He had a wide range of remedies for every illness. He had his famous cold bush and bitters. Whenever his children or grandchildren got sick, you would see him gathering ingredients. He loved to visit the sick and pray for them. He always used the same prayer and potato work together. This is to say that we must not only go to pray, but we should bring something for whether it be money, food, or clothes. On these visits, he would bring one of his remedies or whatever he would find. Papa had a great sense of humor and was one of the best storytellers. He was always sharing jokes and telling us stories about his encounters at sea. Whenever Brother P would come to visit him, you would hear his laughter echoing through the house as they reminisced on the good times and shared jokes. Papa loved a good conversation. When coming from sea, he would reach home late because he loved to stop and reason with his friends. One day on his way to church, Papa stopped to talk with a friend. Ah, the conversation was so enlightened that the time passed without him realizing. It was said that by the time he got to church, it was time for the benediction. <laughs> he always loved to bring friendship, his grandchildren with him wherever he goes. He would bring them to his farm in country. He would teach them how to ride his famous donkey that went by the name Stafford. <laughs> While on the journey, he 
would also teach us as children how to plant corn and how to dig yam. Can you imagine that? He's on his journey, but he is teaching a very good teacher there. On the route to Pont Hill, on the route to Pont Hill, he rode on his donkey. Whenever Papa needed to stop on his journey, the donkey knew every spot to stop. That's what that simply means Papa don't need to say stop. Donkey is well accustomed to the stop points. I wonder if some of us are as obedient as that animal. Use the mic. He always ensures that his granddaughters took turns in riding the donkey as he knew how much they loved to eat. Papa was also a family man and he always showed his support to every family event. Whenever he could not attend, he always sent someone on his behalf. What a legacy! What a life! We were all touched by his presence. Papa, you will be great to this. I know that your presence will always be with us. Sleep on Papa until we meet. Thank you. 
father to his children, stepchildren, grandchildren, and to others. With all his accomplishments, Kenneth sought to fulfill the purposes that God intended for his life. He got baptized in 1971 and served as a deacon and Sunday school teacher at the Cottonwood New Testament Church of God. Because he adored children, he also taught them at Children's Church. He later moved on to the Faith Temple Deliverance Ministries where he served as an usher. Over the years, he became interested in herbal remedies and as an entrepreneur, founded the well-known Pence Boots, providing cures and treatments for numerous ailments. This business flourished and was supported by many far and wide. In the year 2016, he was diagnosed with a heart problem which made him unable to go fishing at sea as often as he would have liked. So he settled with his farm at home, focusing more on his herbal business and his family. His health continued to deteriorate and this slowed his daily activities. On the 21st of August, 2021, Kennedy suffered a stroke which took a toll on him. As he fought on, he craved the company of his family even more. On January 21, 2022, the death of his beloved wife, Rosalie, broke his heart even more. He called for his siblings, children, grandchildren, and extended family to come and see him because he knew his time on this earth was coming to an end. On the 2nd of April, 2022, Kenneth was in severe pain and was taken to the Black River Hospital with his two daughters by his side. He passed away peacefully in the evening at the hospital. He leaves behind seven children, two stepchildren, two sisters, Loretta and Violet, two brothers, Uriah and Sydney, 20 grandchildren, one great granddaughter, best friends for the P and for the Bull, nieces, nephews, and other relatives and friends. To all of us left behind, please remember Revelation 21 verse 4. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more. Neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain anymore, for the former things have passed away. Kenneth Malcolm is resting in peace, and we look forward to that resurrection day when we will see him again.
All right, I'm going to be asking those who are at the home here and would like to have a last look. We will open for you for just a few minutes. So if you are here and you want to view, look and move that somebody else can see. Open, sir. Thank you. Right, cool. Whoa, cool. Whoa, Julia. Sorry. And I'm blind too. Yes, pops. All right, if you can move so that somebody else have a look. Is everybody okay? No, no. Just wrap it up again. Just wrap it up again. Yeah, I wash. Yeah, I Come, Sister G, come quickly to the Is everybody through? Two more minutes and that's it. Hope it. Bam, hope it. All right, so we are through now. Now, what can we see? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody don't see it, just see a record again. Walk. Please close the casket. All right. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he shall dwell with them and they shall be his people, 
and God himself shall be with them and be their God. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed, are passed away. For as much as it is pleasing Almighty God to take our dear brother away from us, we therefore commit his body to the ground, earth to hurt, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, hoping for the glorious resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, which come in great power. God bless you, please, no one. All right, our aim now, we need everybody now, not, it's not a business time now, it's time to sing. The Bible said time for everything, am I right? It is not a business time, so I don't want to hear anybody talking. A very old time. Thank you. Put on the clothes. Put on the one? Yeah, put them on the clothes. No, no, everything else. No, goes. No, 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 no. All right, we turn our programs to at the graveside. There's a land that is fairer than day. And by faith, we can see it afar. We're going to sing together as we continue. Our worship. Yes, Everybody, Junior. there's a land that is fairer than day. Oh, and by faith we shall see the flower. All the father has overcome. Everybody say, in the sweet.
Myself in trouble, but I did not ask for the certificate. Oh, Jesus. So I'm going to ask for it now. And if we can't get it, if we can't get it, then we're going to pull out. No. All right, it is here. It is here. All right. Chorus is now. Thank you. Praise the Lord. I'll fly away. All right, go ahead, Mrs. Malcolm. I'll fly away, oh, oh,
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, Brother Kumzi is not yet completed. Me? So we want to continue until he's finished. About two more songs. And he will finish. All right. So go again. Go again. See me by the river. Someday. Me me by the river. Go ahead now. say thanks to you all. I want one member from the Malcolm family to start come to church at Faith Temple. Hey. One of the daughters, one of the sons. That's right, Rev. Replace him. That's right. Glory. That's what I want. Amen. Yeah. All right. So may God bless you. I feel it. Before we sing that one, I and peace from God our Father. The, the, the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace of our Lord Jesus Savior be with you all. Let everybody say amen. amen. Go ahead now. Sleep on beloved. On beloved. Sleep and take your rest. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down.